So we have an equation. Uh, it's 3 over x plus 5 minus 4 over x minus 5. And that's equal to 4x over x squared minus 25. So this question is two parts. Part A wants to know the values of x that make the denominator 0. So to find those values, all you do is you take the bottom here and you set it equal to 0. You can just look at it. It's negative 5 and 5. Uh, but if it's not obvious, just take each piece and set them both equal to 0. If you solve this for x, you subtract 5. So you get x equals negative 5. So that's one of the values that makes the denominator 0. And if you add 5, you get x equals 5 here. That's the other value that makes the denominator 0. So both of these numbers, if you plug them into this equation, you end up dividing by 0, right? Like if you plug in negative 5, you get negative 5 plus 5 on the bottom. So you get 3 over 0 fails, right? That's terrible. You can, you're not allowed to have uh, 0 on the bottom. It doesn't make any sense. Part B wants us to solve the equation keeping the restrictions in mind. So in other words, if we solve the equation and we get any of these answers, the answer is no solution. So I'll carefully rewrite the equation. So 3 over x plus 5 minus 4 over x minus 5 equals 4x. And you'll notice that this is the difference of squares, right? x squared minus 25 is the same as x plus 5 times x minus 5. So to solve this equation, we have to clear the fractions. So we have to multiply everything by x plus 5, x minus 5. So it'll be x plus 5, x minus 5, parentheses, and then same thing here, x plus 5, x minus 5. So now we have to carefully distribute. So we're taking this and we're multiplying it by this. So the x plus 5's cancel and we're left with 3 parentheses x minus 5. And then we take this and then we multiply it again by this. So this time the x minus 5's cancel and we're left with 4 x plus 5. Again, this times this, the x plus 5's cancel, we're left with 3 x minus 5. And then this times this, the x minus 5's cancel, we're left with 4 times x plus 5. Over here, it all cancels. It's beautiful. It's equal to 4x. Now we'll go ahead and distribute. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Here we get minus 4x, and then minus 20. And that's equal to 4x. Combining like terms, 3x minus 4x is minus x. Negative 15 and negative 20 give us negative 35, and that's equal to 4x. Almost there. Let's go ahead and maybe add the x to both sides. That gives us negative 35, and then 4x plus x is 5x. To finish, we divide by 5. And so x ends up being negative 7. That's it. I hope that made sense.